Perhaps in this room or listing, there are healers. Perhaps there are readers, mediums, channelers, who are trying to wait it out. They realize that they have lost something, and they're not really certain what, but it doesn't feel the same. The results are often so different from their readings or their healings that some have actually stopped for a while and are waiting for it to return to normal, and there is no more normal. It is not coming back. And so the invitation should be clear. Get up and find out how to tune to a vibration which you have never tuned to before, but which is there waiting for you to tune to it. Waiting for you, expects it. This is what you were designed for. Your biology is shouting at you. The innate of your body wants you to feel it and know what to do and how to make it operate. So much of it is intuitive consciousness, things that you cannot identify and label to your satisfaction because they don't fit into a, a numbered list. Intent. Ceremony. It's different for all of you. But it wants to pull upon each one of you as you start to realign to it. This is difficult for a human being to understand. You're so used to pushing the rock uphill. That there is something now that is waiting for you and when you discover it, you'll click right into it and it's back. It's not back, it's just that you are now there where it is. What's interesting, and let me talk about light workers. There are three basic reactions that are happening right now to old souls and light workers, specifically in what you would call light work the healers, the mediums, the intuitives, the channelers. Three basic reactions, and they're very, very human. You can put yourself in whatever category you want. Number one category, <laughs> you can't do it. You don't know how, it's too hard, it's not working anymore, so you're going to quit. You may go to another part of light working. You're still going to help human beings and there's no judgment. You just know you can't do it. Perhaps it's not something you want to do. So you walk away from perhaps decades of doing one thing in order to do something similar that you think is understandable because what you've been doing is not. It's happening. In that, there are variances of degrees. Some will simply alter it a little bit. Some will actually stop and turn their back on God. Because it's too hard. Maybe some of you know them. The second reaction. <laughs> How human. Complain. <laughs> a steady stream of complaints gives you an actionable thing to do without having to change. <laughs> and you'll do it for the rest of your life. It used to be this way. I don't know why it isn't now. I'm trying. I'm wishing. I'm hoping. I'm waiting. I'm complaining. And I always will. And you know I'm right. That's their way of solving the puzzle. A puzzle that has no solution that they can see. Complaining is easier. And the third one, and there's only three, are the old souls and the light workers who are sitting, not knowing what to do and being frustrated. <laughs> and maybe that's you. There are very few who have grasped it and moved that dial and are complacent with the change. 
And that's because it has only just begun. It took till July to clear. Now the energy that is coming is commensurate to your intuitive approach to find that station. Did you understand that? In other words, there is a benevolent energy pulling you toward the truth of how to work with it. And every single one of you have a unique energy that's doing that. It's beautiful. What a system that it knows your name. It knows all about the Akash and what you've been through and how many lifetimes you've been and what you're drawn to and where you'll go. What you're called to and where your interests are. It is a new paradigm of dealing with spirit where it knows you. Where there's a handshake you never had before. And where you'll know where that new station is and you'll know the handshake and you're right where you belong. This is far more personal than it's ever been before. There are mediums and healers and intuitives and channelers that simply read and intuit and channel and heal. And it's been something they do. It's never been personal. And now it can be. Imagine. Imagine going to a level where each one of these things you do, you'll feel. You'll feel that higher self of you who knows you in touch with you. You'll know you're in the groove. This is new. Now is when the change can begin. You might want to take a look at your astrology. You might want to take a look at the planetary aspects. You might want to take a look at even what the ancients have said. And in the process, you'll know what I'm speaking of. There is a clearing here. This is really the beginning of what could have been in 2014 in January. It just took a little longer. I'm not going to get into the attributes that are happening on the planet. I want to just, I want to concentrate on you. We don't have a lot of advice. Only to give you the parameters of the fact that the clearing begins now and there's nothing wrong with you if you haven't cleared it yet. And if you've been frustrated, welcome to the club. Because humanity, light workers, and old souls right now are all in this bag. Very few can raise their hands and say, I've figured it out. Because <laughs> they haven't. I want you to be patient, dear ones. I want you to see this as the beginning of an opening. 